disturbing footage surfaced of a drag queen performing in front of infants. Yes, infants. The vision is so shocking that we have to heavily blur it. We're also seeing this unbelievable, I can't, like, I, I can't believe we're talking about this, but we are also seeing this forceful involvement of the, of drag shows, for example. You, do you know what a drag is? Yeah. Uh, it's not the racing. Oh. Have you seen the drag racing? Yeah, Fast and Furious, all that kind of stuff. Not not that one. The other drag. The uh, the adult entertainment style drag. And unfortunately, we're seeing that in schools. Whereby minors are being shown and introduced to this form of entertainment as part of inclusivity. As part of acceptance. Strutting around in front of tiny kids, infants, toddlers. The heavily sexualized drag shows is just uh, the latest in a growing list of drag events being targeted towards children. We would never allow strippers, for example, to come to schools and perform shows for five-year-olds and six-year-olds and ten-year-olds. You can probably not even, you can't go into a strip club. I don't think you can as a minor. I haven't checked. I you can't. There we go. <laughs> How do you know? Uh, it's just uh, low, isn't it? Yes, exactly. So you have kids that are not allowed to go to see these adult entertainments, but then you bring drag shows to these schools, and in some cases, against the parents' will. Parents don't even have a say in this. Mm. So we're living in these really weird, uncertain times where that's a normal thing. And if you point that out, you're transphobic. They don't ask the consent of parents. They don't even require it as something that they, they don't even deem it something that requires the approval of parents. Like it's something that oh, you know, naturally you'll be okay with it. Why would I be okay with a man dressed as a woman twerking on my ten-year-old daughter? That's 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 not right. <clears throat> and like they say with with homosexuality and other stuff, oh, is it is it okay to be a homosexual? Look, when it comes to homosexual acts, they're haram. When it comes to heterosexual acts outside marriage, that's haram. It's not, you know what I'm saying? Like they're trying to say it like, oh, it's just one thing. No, our morality comes from God. Yeah, in all aspects. It's not that it's just one aspect that you guys happen to go against. No, we have a moral framework. And that's, that's the thing. And I'm sure you're going to touch upon this as well. And that's where the issues are stemming from. Like what, if you don't have a moral framework. If you can't even tell me what good and bad is in your framework, that's where the problem comes. And this happened from detachment from God, from secularism and symbolically when Nietzsche said God is dead. When God died, symbolically of course, he said that uh, and somebody else came along and said it's not that God is dead, it's that now people will worship anything and everything. So they are, they are literally worshipping their desires. I, I, I feel I feel I'm a woman. Oh, I feel like I, they're a 70 year old man. I feel like I'm a nine year old girl. There's a lot of people worried about their safety because I identify as a six year old. Rather than getting that person some help, they are now putting them with kids. Now this, this morality seriously needs to come under question now because it is now harming people, it's harming families in which you don't have a mother and a father, that family statistically and according to studies means that that child is going to be disadvantaged. So this is it's not an opinion. These are research, these are studies. That child is now going to be disadvantaged, is now going to be a bane for society. It's now become an issue for our wider society. That's why we that's need right. more discussions like this. And that's why it's important for us to um, to, to show the veracity of Islam, frankly, because nothing else is cutting it. No ism and schism is at the forefront cutting it because to them it's like, man, who cares? You see many people that are disbelieving, uh, just whatever, isn't it? I, I'm just here for my individualism. This individualism is just, it's now getting too far. And you made a very important point about people will just worship anything, right? And in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, mm. Have you seen the one who has taken their own desires? as their Lord. They're just following their desires. And at That's the end it. of the day, everyone is essentially submitting to something. Either you are submitting to society, either you're sub submitting to the creation, 
or you're submitting to the creator. You yeah. are submitting to something. It's your choice what you submit to. It's going to impact you accordingly, and you will be judged accordingly as well by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.